here I am having two assemblies one is gear shifter with the support dot PRT and another one is the hook hydraulics wherein there is a hook dot PRT so with these two parts uh, I will uh, show the difference between two constraints one is default and another is fixed constraint apparently they look similar as uh, they both are making the component fully constrained but there is a distinct difference between them which I will show with the help of these two examples so in the gear shifter assembly let me edit the definition of support dot PRT and we can see that right now the part is having no constraints and uh, if I hide the 3D dragger then we can see that the support dot PRT is having one coordinate system that is over here and the assembly is having one coordinate system over here so in the placement when there is no constraints let me select the constraint as default and we can see that this default constraint makes the part fully constrained as well as the type of constraint is origin to origin and that's why both the coordinate systems are coming at one location rather the part coordinate system is coming to the assembly coordinate system and uh, that, that is nothing but the origin to origin type of constraint so in this manner the default constraint works now let us see the other assembly for the fixed constraint so here let me first hide the CCS display let me edit the definition of hook.prt and here first I am dragging the hook.prt to a location like this then in the placement for first constraint I am selecting the, the type as centered and for this centered first reference is over here the spherical surface on the hook.prt and another is the spherical surface on this hook piston.prt so the centered constraints gets created and the hook is constrained over here in a spherical portion of this uh, hook piston.prt then let me drag this part along the blue dragger the blue rotation handle in this manner also let me drag it along the green ro rotation handle in this manner so this is the uh, rough position for the hook.prt in which I want to fix this part roughly at this position so for this purpose I will go to new constraint and I will select the fixed constraint again the part becomes fully constrained and uh, now the type of constraint is origin to offset origin so uh, whatever be the position which I defined with the help of dragging the part along the blue and green rotation handles at that position this part is now being fixed so complete component and now it is fully constrained and fully fixed so this is the difference like in the default constraint the part is constrained along the origin to origin having the coordinate system from part and the coordinate system from the assembly and in the fixed constraint again the part is fully constrained but that is at some position which I define as per my need so this is the difference between fixed and default constraints thank you